then what's the point of having a console version? Well, there goes the last chance I had to continue playing this game. Tower was good while it lasted. Terrible news. This game is just going to die in my region before its first year anniversary. Well, that just basically killed my hype to play this game now. I'm so bitter right now. This is a terrible decision. The game is already struggling and dead in the West, and now no cross save with console? Shaking my head trash. This is a turbocharged L. This makes no sense at all, just why? I literally just finished recording and then subsequently uploading a video on Tower of Fantasy to my other alternate sticks channel titled Tower of Fantasy's Crippling Decline. In that video, I went over how much the game earned initially, roughly like $26 million, and how it has declined to $1.4 million over the course of May 2023, how there have been very few new players introduced into the game, and how it is in a very critical state. If you're interested in seeing how the game is doing right now, I urge you to go on over, check that video out, either by clicking the link in the description, the pinned comment, or by clicking the link in the end card at the end of the video. But literally minutes after uploading this video, I got tagged on Twitter, specifically pertaining to an announcement that Tower of Fantasy made that I wanted to cover on my Sticks channel, but I figured doing two videos in succession like that was kind of redundant when I could cover this on the MMO Byte channel, given this is kind of an important thing to cover. The tweet in question going on to say it, oh boy, Byte Sticks is going to have a full buffet course meal for a new YouTube video on this major revelation for Tower of Fantasy. I could see why he deeply wanted this to enter end of service to switch the publisher from level infinite, god damn it. Before we jump into this video though, I want to take a moment here to thank our incredible patrons over on Patreon. You guys allow for me to continue to push out regular videos like this every single day and I cannot express how much I deeply appreciate your guys' support. Also, if you have a moment, consider following me over on Twitch where I stream every single weekend, most of the time. So the tweet in question was made approximately 40 minutes ago. It goes on to state, Dear Wanderers, Thank you for your support and love for Tower of Fantasy. It's confirmed by the Perfect World Company that Tower of Fantasy will be released and operated as a standalone version on the PlayStation platform. They link to more details in an official blog post over on their website. They do follow up with two separate replies. Regrettably, the PlayStation version will be an independent journey for Tower Fantasy. We will do our best to continue to optimize the PC and mobile gaming experience and deliver new and engaging content for you to enjoy. And then in typical Tower of Fantasy fashion, in the previous tweet, we mistakenly sent the Japanese announcement link. Please check the updated link for English. We apologize for any inconvenience caused by this and thank you for your understanding. Like, dude, they can't even make a fucking tweet without screwing it up. Now, players are absolutely fucking lutely pissed. Then what's the point of having a console version? Literally, my expectations you would do that. I just came back to Tower Fantasy for that since my PC is having issues. Well, there goes the last chance I had to continue playing this game. Tower was good while it lasted. Terrible news. This game is just going to die in my region before its first year anniversary. Well, that just basically killed my hype to play this game now. I'm so bitter right now. All I need is the ability to transfer my account to my PlayStation Network account and I'll be good. But man, the game's barely alive on PC and mobile. This is a massive disappointment. Y'all are unreal. I give up. This is a terrible decision. The game is already struggling and dead in the West and now no cross save with console. Shaking my head trash. This is a turbocharged L. This makes no sense at all, just why? Well, end of service, I guess. They go out of their way to ruin the experience for their players. Cringe. What, we want cross save on PlayStation, my account is endgame. You're trash. Disappointed, but not surprised. What the fuck, you want more money? Absolutely terrible management. Should have just let Perfect World or Hata publish their own game instead, and we wouldn't have to deal with shit sent and their terrible management. <laughs> This has caused quite an extensive amount of outrage over on their Twitter, across social media. Players did not expect this. Absolutely no crossplay functionality whatsoever. Meaning if you wanna to play Tower of Fantasy and you already have an account, too bad. You have to start from scratch. Now their blog post, Goes on to state, recently Perfect World announced that they will be bringing Tower of Fantasy to PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 consoles worldwide. 
Upon learning this news, we immediately contact the Perfect World company to clarify, and they confirm that Tower of Fantasy will be released and operated as a standalone version of the game on the PlayStation platform. This means there will be no cross-platform connectivity, as game data from the PlayStation version will not be able to merge or transfer with the PC and mobile versions. Additionally, game progression and in-game items and purchases will not transfer between the PC and mobile and PlayStation versions of the game. If you have any additional questions about the PlayStation version of Tower of Fantasy, please kindly contact Perfect World. Thank you so much for your continued support and love of Tower of Fantasy. While we wish that the PlayStation version was not an independent journey for Tower of Fantasy players, we'll do our best to continue to optimize your PC and mobile. So basically what they're saying here is their, their parent company, they decided that a different subsidiary would be in charge of publishing Tower of Fantasy because all of these companies are owned by Tencent. So instead of having Level Infinite publish Tower Fantasy on PC, mobile, PS4, and PS5, they're having the Perfect World Company publish it on PS4 and PS5, and then they're having Level Infinite publish it on the Android, iOS, and PC platforms, which means they are going to be running separately, but concurrently with one another meaning entirely different teams, entirely different update schedules, and entirely different levels of incompetence. This, I, this is probably the dumbest thing they could have done because they are splitting the two communities. The, the console players and the mobile players and the PC players should all be able to play together. The game is already in dire straits right now. Segregating them like this is only going to fracture the community further. I, <laughs> I wanna say I can't believe they did this, but at the same time, like, <sighs> what were we expecting? This is some tower fantasy level quality shit going on. And it is hilarious. Now, if Tower of Fantasy isn't your thing, absolutely no problem. I got you covered with two different videos on screen right now. One actually regarding Tower of Fantasy, but the other, not at all. 